Welcome, I'm from Omni Say, Omi DG One Pro, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So, before we begin, there is a couple things that we will need. Number one is a SIM card that you want to put in a phone, and number two is just a Wi Fi connection. So, once you have both of those, you can then begin by starting at the first page right here and tapping on emergency call. And tap right here emergency information twice and then on the pencil to edit and choose add contact and select any kind of contact from your sim card it doesn't really matter which one and once you have tapped on whatever contact you will see it right here so emergency contact you want to actually tap on it and brings up the info from where you can tap on it three dots and choose share and here you will have a gmail option now instead of tapping on it as you would normally do, you want to hold the Gmail and this will bring up new information or new options. So let's go to app info, then app notifications, additional settings in the app. Then let's tap on the three dots right here, go to help and feedback. And in help and feedback, in a search, you want to search for Morse code. Just writing a couple letters of Morse seems to do the trick, so use Morse code. That's what we're interested in. And there we go. So we have a video. You want to tap on it to start loading it. And once it basically like flashes like it just did, you'll see that you have now three dots right here. So you want to tap on it and choose Watch Later. And this brings up Chrome. So let's accept and continue. And we don't want to sign in, so no thanks. And in the search bar right here, you want to navigate into hard reset that info. There we go. So once you're on the site, you want to tap on the uh, this oh, rectangle with uh, the bars and go into download category. And scroll a little bit down and in the download field you want to search for Android 8. Like so. And you can see that it's this one right here is the only thing you should see. So let's step on download. Again scroll a little bit down where you will downloading again. Stop on that and we need to continue allow and okay and you can see it automatically downloaded so let's tap on open and before i can actually install i'll need to go into settings and allow from this source so we'll just check that on and go back and now we should be able to install it and once it's installed open and it brings up the app itself so from here, we're gonna start with Google Account Manager APK install and select for version 6.0. And again, same premise, settings, and allow from this source and go back and install. And once this one is installed, this time you don't get to open it, you just tap on done and it takes you back to the app. So from here, we're gonna tap on bypass FRP and choose browser sign in. And once more, tap on the three dots and go browser sign in. Confirm it by tapping on OK. And there we go, it brings up Google login. So from here, you can log in using any kind of Google account. If you don't have one, you can create one. I have one, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna put in password. and sign in you can see that it's signing in and automatically once it has it goes back to the app so from here once you're on the app hold power key and select restart and 
Let me just put in the pin for the SIM card. And we're back in the setup screen. So here, let's just skip through most of the setup as much as we can. And you can already see account added and it provides the account that I have added right before the reboot. Um, this is, uh, not now. Um, so it provides it right here, the account that I have added right before the reboot. And this is previously the screen that would tell us verify your account. So now it thinks that we have added the account. So let's just progress further and skip, not now. It doesn't really matter what you set up right now. We'll perform an additional hard reset of the device. So any kind of settings that you have will not, that you will choose right now or whatever you will set up will be lost anyway once more. So I would hold on setting up the device at the moment, just skipping most of this as kind of better way. So once you have access to the home screen, let's go into the settings. Scroll all the way down to system reset options and erase all data factory reset and here we get information that performing this will remove uh, well, all kinds of data data but it also provides you here with the email address that it will remove because it's part of the google account and it provides the one that we have added but it also will remove the previous one that was blocking us which isn't provided here so let's stop on reset phone and erase everything and the process will now begin and once it's finished, the device will be fully unlocked and then you can set it up as however you like. So I'll be back once the process is finished. And as you can see, now the process is finished. So again, let me put in the pin for the SIM card. And it automatically changes the language to the SIM card. So let's just revert back to the one that I rather use. So there we go. Now I'm gonna go through the setup process again as quick as I can, uh, skipping most of the things. But like I said previously, the device is now fully unlocked and you can set it up as however you like. So you can add Wi-Fi, so you can connect to Google, uh, add passcodes, whatever you want, you can do. So sure whatever okay so i'm gonna skip the connection to wi-fi just to save on time uh, so it doesn't have to look for updates and stuff like that skip adding passcodes and there we go and the device is now fully set up and unlocked so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching